Happy Good New morning Year! And oh. Happy New Year! <laughs> we are in January of 2021 now, and we're going to start this year by learning the best news ever the good news of Jesus. Our unit theme for January is Good News for Everyone, and we're going to talk about sharing the gospel with our communities and the world. Our life points this month are Even before they are born, people are special to God. God tells me to connect with others and show them His love. All Christians are called to be on mission with God. God works through people to do work in their communities and the world. Our Bible verse for the month is Romans 1, 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew and also to the Greek. Let's say it together. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jews and also to the Greek. Romans 1, 16. Today, we're going to hear about a man Jesus healed. But first, let's pray. Join me in prayer, please. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the many wonderful blessings you give us. We do ask that you would be with us this morning as we go over the lesson, Lord. Help us to uh, be able to take the words that we hear today and apply them to our lives. Thank you for this new year and help us to live throughout the year celebrating you and everything we do. Sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, before we get into our lesson today, we're going to play a little game called This or That. Hmm. I want to call out different sets of things, and you're going to think about which you like better, and then Miss Kim and I will give you a little answer on our side, too. So, what about cookies or cake? Hmm. That one's difficult because I love cake. But cookies are portable. Yeah. So they're both or good. You can get a cookie cake. Or you can get a cookie cake. So, yeah. So we'll do that as a favorite. Yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> but I cheat. Carrots or peas? Hmm. Which do y'all like? I like both of those two. But mm -hmm. peas, I could eat more regularly. And if you get like uh, Japanese food, it has carrots and peas in it. So, so you don't have to choose. In some places, you can get a can of carrot and peas. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to choose. But if you had to choose, carrots are more portable. No, just true. You can eat carrots raw. I don't want to eat peas raw. You can, I think, but it's not uh -huh. the same. Yeah. It's not bad. <laughs> boots or flip flops? Definitely boots for me. Okay. Can't she was fast. Yeah, they, yeah. They flip flops go in between my toes and then they rub blisters. I know a lot of people love flip flops. I am not a flip flops See, person. Now, also, it depends on where you're at. Now, I, I, out of the two of those, I guess I prefer boots as well, but I wouldn't want to wear boots out on the beach. I'd rather yeah. wear flip flops out of, the, out of those two choices, as that is my only choices. Yeah. All right, cats or dogs? Mm. I like both. You're, you're picking both on life. Yeah. I like goldfish. It's hard to choose. Oh, the cats or dogs. So <laughs> I guess I, I like dogs, but cats are my favorite because they're more self-dependent, I think, yeah. than have yeah. taken more care of they a dog. They can take care of themselves. Yeah. So but better than a dog can. Books or movies? Mm. I do love to read a good book. Mm -hmm. Wrap up on a warm night with some hot chocolate and read a good book. And sometimes the movies made out of books aren't as good as the original book was. Right. But sometimes I just really enjoy going to a movie too and sitting back and with a giant Coke and a giant popcorn. And I don't that's think fun we're too. doing what we're supposed to do, one or the other. <laughs> All right. If I can only choose one, it's definitely going to be books. Yeah. How's that? Books because the Bible is my favorite book. True. And a movie can't do it justice. But I like watching movies. 
Very true. I like reading books, so, but the Bible puts books on top for me. All right, apples or oranges? That was another close one, but I will have to go with apples. There are different flavors. Some are um, super sweet. Some are a little tangy. Um, and they're portable, like some of these other things we've talked about. Today I'm going to go with oranges because tomorrow our team from North Carolina plays in the Orange Bowl. Ah. <laughs> Playing outside or inside? Well, obviously that depends on the time of year. Mm -hmm. When it's cold outside like it is now, definitely inside. But on a nice warm spring or summer day, love being outside. Even a fall day. Even a fall day, exactly. You like the leaves falling and the colors. Mm, it's yeah. beautiful. But you don't want to do it when it's pouring out rain. Or, yeah, so mm -hmm. I, that again depends on the day probably. <laughs> I'm going to say I like outside most of the time, get the fresh air. <laughs> All right, big city or small town? Small town, easy. Small town, <laughs> easy. I enjoy going to see a big city for a little while. You know, went to New York when I was a few years back, but would not want to live there. Mm -hmm. Do not want to live in Durham even. Mm -hmm. And I like, to, I, lo I love living in a nice little community of Butner. Enjoy being here. All right, a movie star or a regular person? I'm gonna have to go with regular person. Okay. I'm going to have to go outside the box on this one because I think God thinks we're all special. So we're all special people. So I'll go with, God loves us all. So I prefer regular people, people that you know for real is what I'm getting at. But God loves us all. We're all special. We're not regular. All right. We have all have our own preferences. We, uh, you know, like different things. Mm -hmm. The type of people like to be around. You like people that you agree with more than people that you don't. But God loves each and every person the same, no matter whether they're a movie star or, you know, just me. He loved me just the way I am. And whether they're famous or poor, rich, all those things don't matter. And today our lesson is coming from Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. So let's find out more about the story in the Bible. Jesus and his disciples came to Jericho as they went out of Jericho with his disciples and a bunch of other people. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus was sitting by the road. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth was passing by, he began to call out to Jesus, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Stop, and let that man come to me. Have courage. Get up. He's calling for you. What do you want me to do for you? Teacher, I want to see. Go. Your faith has healed you. Immediately, Aramaeus could see, and he continued to follow Jesus. Can you imagine what it would be like to be blind? I don't recommend this, but if you close your eyes and try to walk around your house, you probably will trip and fall. You can't see beautiful flowers or TV, and I don't know how you play video games, although there are some that you can use, listen to the sound to do stuff. But, but these days there are a lot of ways blind people can do things like read, get around, learn, work, browse the internet, and more. But in Jesus' day, blind people couldn't do much for themselves, so they had to beg for money and food and help before everything. Remember we said before that God values each and every person the same. Bartimaeus was probably set out as a beggar on the road every day, and people probably passed him by and just ignored him as they walked by. But Jesus didn't ignore him. Jesus took time to talk with him and heal him. Bartimaeus didn't have much of a life before he met Jesus and was healed. He just sat by the road every day begging. Once he was healed, he could read, he could learn, he could work, and he could do so much more. Because of Jesus, Bartimaeus was able to live a better life. Our key verse for today talks about life with Jesus. It is 1 John 4, 9. I think That's Mr. right. I do it have it. Oh, I'm a little First slow in the draw, but I have it. Chapter 4, verse 9. And this is what it says. 
God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. Let's say that together. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his one and only son into the world so that we might live through him. 1 John 4, 9. God did this for us because he values each and every one of us. Well, let's look at our activity sheets for this week. First through third graders will zigzag and cross it out. All right. You zigzag and cross it out. And under zigzag, it says fill in the words for each zigzag. And it gives you a picture. Like, I'll go ahead and give you this first one. They gave you the first letter B. Looks like a bus to me. And so then you continue on. You look at the pictures and then write in the word that it represents over here. So we have all these and you zigzag on down. And then you decide which word relates to our Bible story today. And under cross it out, we're gonna cross out all of the Z's and read why Jesus healed Artemis. All right, and our fourth through sixth graders We'll get it and figure out why nice cubes are nice. All right. Under get it, it says eyeball these eye charts. Only one contains a readable sentence. And you have to figure out which one it is. And under nice cubes, it says how much does God love people? Find some answers in these nice cubes. It has Bible verses here. After you read each verse, find the starting letter in the grid. And they give you the starting letter for each one. God is, and the first one starts with S. So you find it in the grids, this grid over here. And then move one square up, down, left, right, or diagonally to find the next letter. So you just keep moving around until you make the words. And then we have our coloring page of Jesus Healing Bartimaeus. Bartimaeus. Yeah, it's hard to say. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. And I'm getting tired since a uh, lot, lot of work. Um, <laughs> and this week, our Live It Out section. It asks your parents to remind you that you are important and special to God. I encourage you to think of people who need to know about God's love so you can share that with them. So we just started a fresh new year. And a lot of people make resolutions every year, things they're going to try to do differently or better. For example, I'm going to try to start eating more healthy foods and maybe lose a little weight. Um, do you have a resolution, Mr. Mike? That one sounds like a good one. <laughs> I always like to try, I, I try to do a Bible devotion every day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I get behind a day or two, things get busy and I skip it. I always make a resolution to do it every day instead of having to catch up in the new year and hopefully I'll do better this year than I did last year That's and keep up with it every day. That's a good life. resolution too. Yeah. One thing we should all resolve to do is share the good news of Jesus with all people. Remember, everyone is important to God. Even before they're born, people are special mm. to God. Since God loves and values all people, we should too. Let's see how we can show God's love to the people around us this year. Let's pray. Pray with me, please. Our dear Father, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for your many wonderful blessings, and most of all, for your love. Please help us in this new year to love like you do, that we would uh, see people the way you see them, and love them the way you love them, and that way they'll know that you're inside of us. Help us to uh, share that with others as we go out and live in this world and help us to be able to uh, get back to you next week and study your word again. Sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all have a great week. Bye. We'll see you next week. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year.